Play surges forward. Possibility. Retro football is here. And in this episode, I'm going to be playing FIFA 18 on the PS4. So I have mentioned this on the channel before or on retro football specifically. And that is, is FIFA 18, in this case, retro? And I think... It is, because we're now into a different generation of consoles, PS5, Series S and X. So this is last gen, therefore it qualifies for retro football. So I've been playing, or I started a Middlesbrough career. The manager, as you can see up there, Fabio Cannavaro, the great Italian defender. So yeah, I played one match last night and I saved. I was really tired. I was going to do the video then and I thought, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm too tired. I want energy for this. So... FIFA 18 was the second um, FIFA under Frostbite. So FIFA 17 started it all with Frostbite. Now, I will look at FIFA 17 as well, guys. I've picked these up from eBay. Real cheap. A couple of quid each. Just to do these videos because I love you guys that much. Um, most of you watching this probably still own this. You have probably played this. I don't know. Um, so cameras here, I'm playing with a broadcast camera, I will change it in this video to tele-broadcast what I would usually use. I was just messing around with cameras last night and I really like this camera. Everything just feels authentic and yeah, like I say, I like this camera angle but I will change it. It's, it's harder in this camera. Which brings me to the difficulty. Now, I generally only play football games in single player unless my good friend Dave joins me for Friday night on co-op seasons. But generally, like a lot of people who are interested in these retro football videos, we're single players, aren't we? Um, and, yeah, career mode, Master League. So, the difficulty in FIFA 18, it's far too easy. This is what happened with Frostbite. It's so easy. So, I'll show you my sliders later, guys. I've had to make things... Oh, yeah. I've had to make things difficult for myself. Uh, let's have a look here. So, let's change the camera to that. Yeah. Um, what I did is increase the goalkeeper ability for the CPU... I lowered the CPU passing accuracy or increased it. I can't remember. But you know what I mean. I've basically made the CPU harder to play against, even though it's in legendary difficulty. So I'm not going to moan about it all video. I'm glad I've got that out of the way. FIFA 18 is notoriously an easy game. There were loads of YouTube videos about it at the time. I always remember when I picked this up, because I quite like this game, gameplay-wise. It's okay. But it was just too easy. Um, and saying that, I'm probably not going to score a goal or anything now. But, I mean, I am in the harder camera. And, like I say, I've applied sliders. You can make the game harder. But you shouldn't have to do that sort of stuff. But, yeah, back to the gameplay of this. I like it, guys. When Frostbite started... Hold on. Let's get that out. It's all right. Keeper's got it. Yeah, when Frostbite was a thing. So, it left Ignite. FIFA 16 was the last game on Ignite engine. FIFA 17, like I've already said first game with frostbite and fifa 17 I, I won't spoil it for you probably will do that next for retro football um but fifa 17 was good fifa 18 was good but it's, they slowly and surely started getting worse and worse and worse until fifa is where it is today utter dross fifa 23 is terrible i'm sorry it just is in my opinion I was stating that like it's fact. It's not fact. It's just how I feel about that game. 22 was okay for a while. Then they updated it and it was terrible. So you, you get the theme here, guys. It's getting worse under Frostbite. I don't think this engine suits football gaming. It suits Battlefield. Or it used to. But it doesn't suit football gaming. And the visuals on this, the pitch textures and all that kind of thing, look really nice. And that has gradually got worse to these like a luminous green pictures we've got now on the Series X and PS5 versions. <laughs> so I forfeited the match. The board aren't happy. We trust this won't be a regular occurrence. Can you imagine that in real life? Just the manager going, nah, we'll, we'll forfeit this. I'm bored. 
and the board just saying lots of boards there but yeah the board just saying yeah well it's okay this time try not to do it too much so you got all this training stuff guys as i'm waffling here if the bear with me i'm not very good at playing and talking at the same time as you all know you got the training that would that was already in it in fifa 17 and fifa 16 it can break players if you do certain things in a certain order if i remember correctly so i try and stay away from training as much as possible but i want to show you the sliders that i was talking about so i lowered pass speed just a tad just to slow things down a little bit for injury frequency and that kind of thing i got from a google search it took me to operation sports big shout out to the guys that that community they're brilliant with getting injury sliders and that kind of thing spot on and these sliders here to make the game harder i got from chez chesnoid gaming feet big fifa youtuber big fifa career youtuber i really like chez actually he's really funny he's a cool guy um but he is like us basically he finds this game or he's like me he finds a lot of the fifas too easy even in the hardest difficulties and he's got sliders that will make it harder and they do work it does make it harder um but i play on slow difficulty i have to emphasize that guys but what i will do so a bit of fifa world cup this was added later on with fifa 18 i think but what i will do is show you at a normal speed at some point i don't like this game in normal speed Let's choose team here. Uh, let's go Portugal, I think. Oh, I remember Iceland in this tournament. I remember. Oh, no, I was thinking of the tournament when they knocked England out. But anyway, let's go to Portugal, I'm thinking. Because I think... Oh, look at this. Presentation, as always, with FIFA is really good. I won't um, reference Russia too much in this video because I don't know how YouTube is about that, you know. Because we all know what's been happening there. It's it's a shame. I thought the Russia World Cup was fantastic. Oh, it's David Silva. Look, he's lost all his hair. Because he has had a hair transplant since uh, FIFA 18, hasn't he? So there you go. On to normal speed, guys. Back to Teddy Broadcast Camera, which a lot of people like for the FIFA games. Yeah, that... That Portugal team isn't very good. I shouldn't have chose these. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's not about being good. It's about looking at old football games. Retro football is for that purpose and that purpose only. So Sochi is the area, the stadium that I'll be playing at in this match. I think Sochi... Was there an F1 Grand Prix there for a few seasons? See, if Dave was with me now, he'd know. It's a yep. Or no, in this case. Um, so Portugal v Spain in Sochi at the Fish Stadium. I don't know which club played here. But again, visually this looks really nice. I like the pictures. Everything looks looks decent. But again, slowly and surely, everything, everything started looking dodgy. Because by FIFA 20 and 21... I'm talking about PS4, so staying with current gen at the time. Everything was just looking, starting to look rough, luminous colours, although Portugal's kit's quite luminous here, isn't it? But I haven't really touched on gameplay. So gameplay, it's too easy. But apart from that, I like the gameplay in this, in slow. I don't like it in normal. I've said that a million times. It's decent. It's okay. It's not as good as FIFA 17, but it's better than FIFA 19. It's like in the middle. Well, it literally is sandwiched in between those releases. And it's okay. The shooting in this is satisfying. Um, and it's good to play. It feels good to play. The, the ball feels nice and weighty. They increased the ball size a tad. It's still a bit too small. It's not like a size 5. It's like a size 4.5. But in FIFA 17, the game before this, the ball was tiny. Which <laughs> I will get to when I... Oh, he's in. Oh, no. Oh, he scores. And it is David Silva. Look. What a player, David Silva. What a player. Loved him. Even though I'm a Man United supporter and he excelled at City. City fans called him Merlin, didn't they? As in Merlin the Magician. And he was a magician. He is a magician. I think he's at Real Sociedad now. As an aside, fantastic player, real joy to watch. But I'm going to sulk and forfeit another match. 
<laughs> no, I just want to see what other content we got on it, guys. Maybe play as a different team. Um, so FIFA 18. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this release. Um, because going back to it, it, it has reminded me how bad the new FIFA games are. Because this was okay. Even, even Frostbite. Because this is Frostbite. Even though it's Frostbite, I still like it. I think it's a good game. And... Like I have said on the channel before, I think the Frostbite engine was the worst thing to happen to FIFA. Um, but obviously, all the millions and millions of people who spend all their hours in FIFA Ultimate Team disagree with me. They're fine with it. They must be, because they buy it every year. Um, was La Liga licensed? I mean, yeah, surely it is, because there's the Santander logo as well. When did they get La Liga license in? Was it FIFA 17 onwards? I can't remember. Was it this one? Anyway, I'm going to choose Valencia here. It's the derby against Villarreal. Now, that's not Valencia Stadium, though. I want to play somewhere with an official stadium. That was one of EA's generics, wasn't it? El Libertor. Or my... Or am I way off on that? Let's go Atletico. Let's see if their stadium... Yeah, Wanda Metropolitano is their stadium so it, it's fifa the thing with the frostbite fifas as well oh yes definitely licensed i love all the la liga presentation in fifa um but yeah the thing with the fifa frostbite era they all kind of copy and paste into each other that's a terrible way of explaining what i mean guys but they they're all much of a muchness they there isn't, in my opinion, a huge difference between playing FIFA 18 and FIFA 17 and FIFA 19, FIFA 20. They're all much of a muchness, I'll say that again. Because it's something to do with this damn engine. I just can't put my finger on it that I don't like. It feels wonky to me. It just doesn't feel... Like the players, the ball sticks to their feet far too much. Far too much. Whereas on Ignite... Because I played a little bit of FIFA 14 on PS4 last night. Um, and that I have featured on Retro Football. Even though it looks rough now, that game. It's old. It looks rough. The player models in it are just ridiculous. They're terrible. They look like wrestlers. But the game playing it, the ball feels like a separate entity completely. With Frostbite, everything started getting too... Like I say, the ball glued to their feet. The... the Ball physics, to me, was all over the place. And that was a big problem. And it's why I've started going back to the old PES games. The old and great Ignite FIFA games. Because I just... I can't believe they're staying with Frostbite for EAFC 24. Or whatever the game is going to be called. Um... Because that's due. As I'm recording this, FIFA 24, EA 24, isn't isn't long, guys. We'll be getting it soon-ish, I think. But yeah, I wanted to feature this FIFA 17, uh, FIFA 19, maybe. Maybe I'll do for Retro Football at some point as well. Let me know in comments if you'd like me to do that. Or if you like Chorizo, do far, far more of the older games. Because once you've seen a Frostbite FIFA, or once you've seen one Frostbite FIFA, you've seen them all. I actually own FIFA 19 and FIFA 20, and FIFA 21, and 22. I own all of them digitally, because I started buying games digital. So obviously, I've still got them all in my library. They're not installed, because I haven't touched them for many years. But yeah, let me know, guys. It is interesting going through the Frostbite games just to see how similar they are. I'm not too keen in FIFA 18 how the AI play, I have to say, because, oh, I remember FIFA 17, the AI is pretty interesting to play against, it has to be said, but again, game by game on Frostbite, it just started turning into a, a goal fest, the matches started turning into goal fests, which isn't the case here. But again, it's because 
I've made the game harder, basically, with the sliders. If this was just the fault now, I'd be scoring for fun. Honestly, guys, I'm not like I'm brilliant at FIFA. It's not one of those kind of videos. It's just a fact that FIFA's too easy. Loads and loads of people on Reddit used to say it, on YouTube, he's offside. But yeah, graphically this looks good. The commentary's good, Martin Tyler, Alan Smith. I, I think they were decent as a commentary pair compared to those really boring commentators we have on FIFA 22 and 23. Um, and no disrespect to those gentlemen. Hold on. Oh, what a finish. Diego Costa, what a finish. Shooting in this is nice. It feels good when you score a goal. It's satisfying. That's something that was missing from Pez around this time. So we would have been in Pez 2018 era now. And I think Pez 2018 is a better game than this. But shooting in Pez 2018, a little like 2017, wasn't satisfying. Straight, missile-like, laser-guided shots. In FIFA, the ball swerves more. You, you actually feel like you connect with it more in FIFA. But yeah. I've been rambling away, guys. I haven't really made any points whatsoever apart from FIFA 18. It's not terrible. It's just not memorable. It's kind of in the middle somewhere. It's just one of those games. It's why it's like two quid now on eBay. Brand new, probably, as well. It'll cost you like a fiver somewhere. It's okay. It's not FIFA 14. It's not FIFA South Africa. It's not one of the greats. But also, it's not, you know, it's not woeful like FIFA International Soccer on the Amiga. <laughs> oh, he's offside. I'll speak to you all soon.